Hey guys, welcome back to Sid Meier's Civilization VI, Greece as Pericles. And we are getting our cities built and getting established here. We have some iron, which we'll be working here momentarily. So let's go ahead and keep moving. Ephesus is needing some amenities, but Don't once we get our builder made, we'll probably be able to uh, get that tobacco, or is it coffee? Uh, coffee, uh, and uh, be able to get some amenities going there. All right, so let's take a look. Now, we can either go with masonry or ironworking, so let's go with masonry. I don't know how imperative sailing will be at the moment, but that's something we will work on as well and maybe create some sort of vessel but we're not near any of the crab or fish yet to really kind of focus on that but after i make this campus i'm probably going to make the next settler and probably just go ahead and take this spot right here i think it'll be fairly nice we will get some good production out of these tiles this city does not have to be a major powerhouse it just needs to be able to help support our other cities and of course as I've mentioned, I typically like to run with at least five cities minimum in king version. We could also even consider making a city towards our east over here in this kind of clustered area. It will be a little separated from our cities, but I like building near rivers just to get that extra housing. Let's take a look. Like right here would not be too bad because we'd also get iron, we'd get stone. We'd probably have to buy our way to the Jade, but that's fine. We're getting four gold per turn. But I think right here would be a really nice little city as well. Again, it doesn't have to be a powerhouse city, but it would be a nice city. Or we could even maybe make it closer, like right here might be another good spot. Let's take a look. Yeah, like right here. Again, it wouldn't have to be a powerhouse city, but it would help connect that city so that's something we could consider here as we go along but we will need to focus on units here as well because there's no telling when we could get uh, attacked by some of our neighbors here as Gilgamesh is known for his aggression although uh, everybody seems to be very friendly if you notice up here we're in the green with most with most and we're unfriendly with Congo not a big deal kind of neutral with India so so far so good I'm not looking to be extraordinarily aggressive in this game because I kind of want to show you guys how I go about begins with a strong uh, going for a more peaceful type gameplay which is usually what I normally do and do we want to change any policies right now see we're building the builders we want to do that we definitely want our money unit maintenance might be a little more advantageous but we still need that combat strength against Barbarians. So let's just stick where we are right now. And I'm going to kind of work my way around. Kind of start coming down this way now. I don't want to get necessarily too close to these Barbarian camps. We should probably go up there and clear that one, actually. So let me go ahead and send this unit up that way. And let's see if we can't take care of this horseman. And scout real quick. We'll move our archer into the city. So we get that extra advantage. I'm just going to keep him right here and see where that scout's going to go. All right, so civics. Now we can go ahead and get political philosophy. So we can change government. And in our home city, let's go ahead and get that settler. And what I might do is in Gnosis, maybe make another trader. But let's go ahead and get that other settler. Uh, I definitely want to secure this spot over here. That way we can um, probably take a little bit of advantage of the wonder as well. And we'll get one of these units up here to come down and take care of him. And we will get a builder to work this iron so that we can upgrade our warriors to swordsmen. So he's coming right after the archer. It makes perfect sense. This is the weaker unit, but he's just... Uh, put himself in a very difficult position as we will take him out and we'll use the archer inside the city for the well 
Actually, we'll go ahead and just use this one. I want to do a little bit of leveling with this unit, but that's fine. Alright, so we're going to be running into a group of barbarians over here. So hopefully we'll be able to get... We can go ahead and take the archer up there too to support that warrior, just in case we need him. I'm going to take the scout over here and kind of take a look around at this area. Yeah, so we'll be able to take this camp out over here, get a little bit of cash. Maybe we'll get this uh, archer over here to take out that scout. Let's just push him forward here in a moment. Let's go ahead and skirt around these barbarians. I probably might sneak along here, along Congo. Surprised he doesn't have any units of his own out there to kind of protect his border. Alright, next turn. I think a city might end up being kind of nice right here, although we have to deal with this desert, but I think it'll be fine. I think it's going to be a pretty nice spot, actually. Let's go ahead and hit this guy real quick. These other units are pretty weak. Matter of fact, I could probably kill that warrior with the scout. Something to consider. We have, uh, okay, so England is right here. So this is going to pose a problem. I'm going to have to get that city. Yeah, we're going to have to put that city down ASAP right here. Because she is just a couple tiles away from being able to not necessarily grab the wonder, but she's close. And she would cut off our ability to make a city there. So it looks like uh, we are doing well. Over here, I'm feeling kind of confident that that uh, we're not going to have that area taken by any of the sieves that I can think about. I don't think that uh, Gilgamesh... I can't, I'm surprised Gilgamesh isn't already over here, to be honest. But there's so many great areas up here for him to build in. So hopefully he'll stay over there and let us take care of that over there. I'm kind of almost having second thoughts about that city. I'm not willing to sell you open borders. Will you take it without open borders? No, he won't. Okay, well, that's fine. I don't need his open borders, and I don't want to give him mine. Because he'll just kind of go behind us. He probably wants to build over here, which is probably what England is going to be doing soon, too. we got to watch out for this horseman. Right, so let's see. We have a... Let's go ahead and get this. Let's see, we want hills... And he'll be fine with the slinger there. This guy, I want to get him out of the way. Oh, boy. Well, I'd rather him face a barbarian warrior than the horseman, for sure. All right. Let's go ahead and pop this spearman again. I really like this spot up here, though, too. That's kind of nice. All right, so we didn't need the archer up there after all. So let's go ahead and bring him back home. And we have another horseman. So we're going to probably be able to take care of him with the two archers. But we will need to be careful. These horsemen are pretty tough. I might actually let him come towards us. Yeah, they're going after the scout. Our little scout here. Hopefully I'll be able to get away from these guys. Uh-oh, maybe not. We're going to lose him right now. Wow, the trifecta. That's disappointing. Very disappointing. When wasteful war shall statue. Of course, we can't always anticipate where barbarians will be in the fog of war. So that's just one of the things we have to deal with. But a little scout should be... Okay, we need to be careful with that unit over there. Let's go ahead and take out this scout. I don't want him to take out my archer. It's going to be really close, but I am a risk taker. So I'm going to bet on he won't be able to take out the archer entirely, especially with the, with the fact that he's wounded. Kind of a bummer that we lost our unit there, our little scout, but we'll get another one going. We're able to see a good bit of the map, so let's go ahead and get ironworking. 
build an iron mine. I might actually take... I was going to say I could probably move this builder directly down here to be able to do that, but... The amount of turns it would take to get him down here would be... I could just make a new one. Alright, now we have a horse archer too. So this is going to get interesting. At least he went after this archer and not this one. So I'm going to have to push the warrior up. That was very close. Okay, now time to change governments. And we're going to go with... Oligarchy. So we can take advantage of a little bit of everything. Let's go ahead and get the two envoys. And definitely want to get the gold going. Uh, builders we're still doing, so we're going to keep that. We're going to keep God King. We're going to keep everything the way it is. We are still battling barbarians, so we're going to want to keep that as well. Let's go ahead and bring this warrior in. And bring the scout this way. And push our warrior up this way to protect our archers. Let's move you completely out of the way. And move you into the city. There we go. That will provide us with the extra protection. Took a little bit of a risk there, but I'm okay with that. And our next government, let's take a quick look. I think I want to go with Merchant Republic. So we're going to work towards exploration right here. So we're going to work our way to our exploration. But in the meantime, we still want to pick up some of these other civ civics. Right? And mysticism does have scientists, so let's go ahead and pick this up so we can maybe start working our scientist. Alright. And I'm going to leave these unit, these two right here for protection. And by the time we get this camp cleared out, I might bring... I don't want to send the settler by himself. That was an interesting move on the part of the Barbarian. Let's move this guy this way so he can help with the um, settler. All right? We should be able to take out this horseman fairly quickly. There we go. He should be down now. There we go. And let's move this guy down as well and kind of use this guy to flank around. These two can protect this city here. Right? He wants to go aggressive. We'll go ahead and take the shot. Take that guy out. Nice experience for our guys. And let's bring our warrior in. And we'll keep exploring with our little scout here. Let's let him heal up. Since he is our only guy. Okay, now, let's work that coffee. Right. He's not happy with us uh, having amenities. Okay, let's go ahead and get another unit. We'll go ahead and get... Well, that's a lot of turns for that. So, let's go with a granary. And then with with this builder, we'll be able to improve some tiles that will give us some additional hammers and or gears. Okay, so here we'll also go with the granary for the housing. It's still early in the game. There's no need to get overly um, focused. Mysticism is the mistake. All right, so now we'll be able to get our scientist. And do I want to do that right now? No, not at the moment, but we will bring that down as part of that momentarily. Well, we're getting seven gold, so let's go ahead and just bring that scientist down. What is that going to leave us with? Because we can't make a trade route, so we'll be able to get gold. All right, still showing 7.5. All right, so there, our amenities are good. Let's, how long would it take him to get down here? Six turns? Not sure I'm really crazy about that. Let's keep him up here. And we'll work the horses. See, we have two builds left. So we'll work the horses and we'll work the jade. That should keep 
our amenities flowing. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start... I'm going to push the settler to right here. But we know there's barbarians in that area, so sending him out by himself would be not a very good idea. I'm going to let him heal in our borders. That way, it'll be faster. But sending the settler unescorted would be a very bad idea. So we're going to not do that. I think I might actually skip military tradition for the moment and go with drama and poetry. Because I do want to get those theaters down so we can take advantage of the Acropolis. Being, let's see here. Alright, now we'll go ahead and go with the trade route. Actually, no. Let's go with the builders. Yeah. It's only going to be three. Alright, so Envoy. Who do we want? Housing from water. Trade routes. Eureka. That's always a nice one. Looking for any kind of a science bonus, and we don't have one. So we can kind of go with whomever here. Your trade routes to any states provide plus one culture and one gold. So, all right, we'll go with uh, Kumasi. Yep. For now. Where is Kumasi? All right, this is up towards um, Montezuma. That's fine. All right, next turn. I'm not going to let that settler get any closer than the than on the science building. Okay, so they're coming after our scout. There's no surprise there. And let's go ahead and take this guy out. And we'll just post up here. Actually, yeah, we're going to want to move in to take out that camp up there. Let's go ahead and just get completely out of here. Next turn. And work the horses. So this will give this city a little bit more production too. Which is good. And then we'll probably... Well, we're working our way towards... Machinery. But we still got a little ways to go. So I may have to reassign this... This citizen to the Jade. Which will be fine. Because it will be food and culture... Although we will be giving up a little production, but that'll be fine. We got a, um, is that a hill? Wait, if we have a hill. No, these look like they're flatlands. Yeah, otherwise we could clear the forest. So we will work the jade. I do want to leave those as forest. Although it's got a lot of hills and we got a lot of swamp. Barbarians are getting brutal now all of a sudden. Let's heal up. Right, we're going to keep him here for now. So we'll skip a turn. And we'll start pushing these guys in. And we're going to go work that jade. Alright, we'll go ahead and pop this guy. And we'll go ahead and get the scout out of the way. Wow, they are really working on England over here. No All right, Spain. So that leaves us with two more sieves that we have to meet. All right, well, we could be finding ourselves in a bit of a pickle here. Let's go ahead and post up. Well, we actually, we can get a promotion, so that was huge. That was huge. Okay. Let's go ahead and work this iron. And now we'll get that trade route for the gold. Although our gold is doing pretty good. And looks like someone cleared out that camp. Yep. Gilgamesh. Speaking of Gilgamesh, we need to work this iron, turn this guy into a swordsman because he's close by. I don't... It doesn't look like it's a very concerning posture on his part but we certainly want to be careful and make sure that he's not working his way towards us oh so Victoria has declared war on us we don't have a message 
Oh, we're getting hit by both sides. Okay. There we go. Well, this brings into question of whether we want to take this spot as a city or maybe work our way to the right because what I might do is take some of her cities. Wow, our scouts. Man. But at least uh, the barbarians are very brutal towards her, too. Alright, so I don't even know where Spain is. So Spain is really kind of a... Almost a non-entity here. I'll bring a... Boat down that way, just to... Or uh, bring a uh, archer down that way to take care of that. The little galley here. Okay, guys, on that note, we're going to end it here. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next game.